You might remember playing with a gyroscope when you rotate the gyroscope you feel a torque and what's happening is you're rotating the plane of rotation of the spinning mass about one axis and feeling a torque about another axis and so a propeller does the same thing when the plane of rotation of the propeller changes at an angular rate a torque is induced and that torque is going to be felt by the airplane or the rotorcraft quadcopter in our case so how can we calculate that there's a pretty simple relationship um, we'll call it the torque generated TG equals the angular momentum of the propeller which is the moment of inertia of pr the propeller times the angular velocity of the propeller crossed with call it omega c that'll be the angular rate of change of the plane of rotation of the helicopter or I'm sorry the propeller so let's look at it with a picture so let's say we have a spinning disc a propeller and it's spinning counterclockwise so we know by the right hand rule that if we're spinning counterclockwise we're going to have an angular velocity vector coming up like that and it's also the angular the same direction as the angular momentum vector so we'll just write IP omega P. So that's our angular momentum vector. Now let's use green. Let's put a Y axis here and then an X axis. So the propeller's rotating in this X, Y plane. And we'd know again by the right hand rule cross X to Y thumbs pointing down so we'd have a z-axis down now let's say as that propeller is spinning at a constant angular velocity omega p it could be changing but it, it doesn't need to change for this torque to be generated and now let's say I'm gonna dot this y-axis in this direction too, in the negative direction and imagine we twist that plane of rotation of that rotating propeller about the y-axis. So we're at an angular velocity omega c. So let's do it positive along the y direct, uh, the y-axis. So that omega c vector will we'll color in red. It's going to be a vector in the y direction and it's positive so it's that's omega c so now if we look at this equation here this term is this vector this omega c is this vector here this red vector and if we take the vector cross product again by the right hand rule we're going to go from the angular momentum vector to omega c vector so we're going to have a torque down the x-axis here in this picture and that is our t g okay so it's a torque vector what does that mean it means if we're applying a torque so we have a torque in that direction it wants the body it's torquing the body or the plane of rotation this way so the propeller spinning we impart an angular velocity to it about the y-axis and a torque is generated that wants it to rotate about the x-axis so that's the effect 
the gyroscopic effect of a spinning propeller as its plane of rotation changes with an angular velocity omega c and the in the example of a tail dragging aircraft which would be like a p51 mustang let's say it's going down the runway p51 pretty cool looking airplane it's going down the runway like this the wheels dragging it's got the wheels on the wings right so it's speeding down the runway now at some point when enough lift is generated by the wings the tail is going to lift up right and let's say that's about 15 degrees so this propeller is spinning we're looking at it on edge and at some point that plane of rotation of that propeller is going to come vertical because the tail is going to come off the ground and then of course the plane is going to take off but for a brief moment this is going to be horizontal and this propeller will have pitched forward so let's say it was 15 degrees and let's say it took a one second so that would be like our omega c and what's going to happen is we had that angular momentum vector coming out of perpendicular to the propeller which was our ip omega p and suddenly this omega c happened and what's going to happen is that's going to generate a torque. So my signs may be wrong here in this sketch, but in any event, you know that this omega c is occurring about an axis coming out of the page plane of the paper. And we have an angular momentum vector going forward. So let's just do it this way. Let's cross angular momentum vector of the propeller to this vector and we're going to have a torque TG. Now that's going to act on the whole airplane and if you think about it, what's that's going to want to do? That's going to want to kick this tail into the page and so the pilot's going to have to correct for that with his rudder. Now, I may have had the signs on that backwards, but that's the effect. And we're going to have the same effect from the propellers in a horizontal plane on our quad rotor. We have four propeller. We have four. Now I'm drawing over. But we're going to have four propellers on our quad rotor, and each one of them contributes this gyroscopic effect to the sum of torques on the body of the quad rotor. It may end up being minimal given the, mat the moment of inertia of the propellers, but we're going to model it and this is how we derive what those gyroscopic torques are due to the propellers rotation and a change in rotational plane at a rate omega C.